Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. We hope you're well. Today, we're in Northern California to visit some of the world's tallest trees. I hope you'll join me as we ride and walk through the Avenue of the Giants. It's where California's redwoods are on full display and even appear to be touching the sky. That's coming up. Hey, we appreciate you tuning in to the video. I think we have a good one for you today as we visit the Avenue of the Giants, which is a scenic highway in Northern California running through Humboldt Redwood State Park. Seeing the gigantic redwoods in California has been on my bucket list for about 10 years, and today it happens. I'm riding with two dear friends, Belle and Andy of Belle's Rides, who are just up ahead. They're full-time RVers as well, and they love to ride. The first stop I want to take you to is what is said to be the largest tree in the forest. It's off the main road a bit, so buckle up or grab your handlebars because we're rolling in the Avenue of the Giants. Here we go. We're riding through what some say are the largest, oldest living things on earth. Many of these trees are over 2,000 years old. And I don't know about you, but that was a lot of fun. We are arriving here at the giant tree. It's located in a section called Rockefeller. Man, check out the size of these trees. Oh, and I'll need y'all's help on adjectives <laughs> describing this forest. Just drop me some down in the comments below because I'm sure I'll use all mine up before the day is over. So we're right here. We have to cross a bridge right here. And then there's the giant tree right there. Oh, okay. See right here is where we are. Yeah. Mm. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, guys, but there's no bridge here, which means we have two ways to cross this creek. We can either get wet with a full day of riding ahead or cross right there on that fallen redwood tree. After some deliberation, we crossed on the redwood. We'd come too far not to see this giant tree. Once on the other side, slipping through another falling redwood, we saw the mammoth tree. It stands at a towering 363 feet in height. It's taller than the Statue of Liberty, taller than a football field is long, And she also appears to be damaged from a lightning strike some time ago. Its circumference is 53 feet. It used to be a sign or a marquee. It used to be here, it gave all the dimensions of the tree, but it looks like it's been completely destroyed by fallen limbs. 
This is a sign that was posted here prior to the damage. Now, I wanna take you to another amazing spot. But first, more of nature's majestic skyscrapers. We're just arriving at Bowling Grove, named after a World War I soldier killed in action in 1918. And let me tell you, it is breathtaking. It's like some little growth on the outside. Yeah. The bark on these mature trees are over a foot thick. It's that thick bark that aids in their height and longevity. It makes them resistant to bugs, disease, and even fire. The redwoods are about 70 feet taller than the giant sequoias, but they do have a more slender trunk, relatively speaking. And being my first visit, and you never know, maybe my last, I was like a kid at Christmas to be walking among these towering forces of nature. And again, just to demonstrate how the camera doesn't capture the size of these great redwoods, you see that tree right there? How about now? It's wider than the bike is long. Truly amazing. Okay, stay with me because our next stop, we're gonna ride through one of these giant trees. But first, more of the beautiful ride through California's Redwoods. Okay, as promised, we're about to drive through a tree. Can't do this back home in Georgia. Okay, the clearance is seven feet by seven feet, so we should be fine. Here we go. tree that we just drove through is called the shrine drive through tree and man this thing is 3,000 years old not sure how accurate the sign is but as mentioned before redwoods lifespan can reach well over 2,000 years it appears that the old tree once stood around 275 feet tall i did read that many decades ago a fire possibly due to lightning 
burn the top portion. Still a pretty cool experience. And again, standing in the tree provides some level of scale to its size. We enjoyed the experience so much. When we departed, we rode back through the tree in the opposite direction. We even rode up on a redwood. Hey, I felt like Evil Knievel. Needless to say, we have a few more hours of enjoying the beautiful Avenue of the Giants. But we're gonna let you hop off here. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you wanna see more motorcycle rides, click the video on the right. If you wanna see RV related videos, click the video on the left. We hope to see you there. Until then, be well and stay safe.